What up, boys? It's Vel here, and today I would like to show you guys this dank AF Arma Brand Ignite Pro Lift build. It is so much fun. So much fun. I'm going to give you guys a little more detail about the build, and I'm going to link both the pobes below. So you can see if you want to leak start it and then go into the end game with it because honestly, I kind of want to leak start with it. I'm not going to lie. I am highly considering. I thought I was going to do the um, explosive concoction. Maybe now it's going to be an Arma brand prolif, you know? We'll, we'll see what they decide to, to say in the patch notes. But uh, let me just break it down for you. So I started as an elementalist and it was going okay. Elementalist seemed like the right choice, but I found that despite having some points in the golem and the fire and it just wasn't really cutting it. Like I wasn't overly defensive and uh, I wasn't getting as much damage as I wanted. It made me, it was my first thought saying, oh shit, maybe Ignite really is dead right as they say but then i looked at the black flame ring and if you guys don't know what the black flame ring is it is a ring that gives your fire damage taken as chaos so you can stack uh ignite and fire damage over time multi uh flat fire damage to spells and all of that just gets taken as chaos also it has enemies uh ignited by you applies wither and your wither doesn't expire so with that in mind i decided what if i change to an occultist since you get withering presence which gives you like 60 percent chaos res as well as uh your spells your damage applies wither up to uh, a max of like every second for 15 seconds and that's when you're at max wither so it's like they just synergize so well. And there's always the benefit of Profane Bloom, which on top of my Ignite Prolif is just absolutely and utterly disgusting. <laughs> okay? It's just stupid. So I went with the Occultist. I got on my Black Flame. Uh, my other ring is an ember wake because it applies to ignites now i know there's an issue with the ignites and maybe not applying the highest ignite however uh the ember wake is just still a really great ring despite that and it's a really good target for getting immune to ignite so this build is actually currently immune to ignite damage uh because i just have it on the ring easy corrupt target not that hard to get a good one they're like one c each so why not um, I also decided to get double crab armors on. First, I started with the chest piece because it gives you the uh, aspect of the crab, a shitload of armor, and it's like, it's just really, really strong. Because overall, Ignite builds, damage over time builds, they don't really have a lot of access to defenses. They tend to, um, like, you can't really leech because you're not really hitting. So that's, you can go with a buttload of regen um and in my case i couldn't take any evasion because i have unwavering stance to be immune to stun so i uh, evasion was out of the question and i'm like i need i need to stack so armor it was and i decided on going with the crab gloves because not only can i add despair to the crab gloves with another again easy target to corrupt because like who actually cares about the crab outfits, okay? <laughs> like, it's just me at this point, I feel. There's a couple people, but, you know? Uh, it, so it, it doubles up how fast I gain my, my crab stacks, and it's generally really, really good. I have 7k armor and 90% fizz reduction. And despite all that, I was thinking, I'm still just not quite defensive enough. So then I looked at Divine Flesh, because Divine Flesh actually really, really synergizes with the Occultist and the Black, like everything's really good. So what it does is 50% of your Chaos damage is, or, or sorry, of your uh, Elemental damage is taken as Chaos. So 
and it gives you 5% chaos, uh, max chaos res. So I got my chaos res to 80, plus the 7k armor, the 90% fizz reduction, and it is feeling definitely a whole lot tankier. It is so much better. Um, I also went with a careful planning because as if you guys know, this has some dexterity gems and they are, it's kind of a bitch to get dexterity. So instead I went with uh, careful planning, threw it in a gem socket, got the dexterity I needed, don't have to worry about getting it on any piece of gear. Um, I also went with a alls with free anger because that free anger is kind of a massive deal uh, for the build because it's big, big damage. So you definitely want to do that. Uh, because I have the crab chest piece on, I'm immune to bleed. And also I have a corrupted blood jewel, so I'm immune to a corrupted blood as well. And I have cannot be frozen on my boots, just crafted on, so I can't be frozen as well. I'm basically immune to like, I want to say almost everything. I definitely am not immune to shock. I would like to be immune to shock, but that's just going to take uh, a little bit more a little bit more finagling that I don't uh, don't know where yet. I don't know where. I'll figure it out. Maybe I will. Maybe you will. We'll find out, right? Um, one of the big things for this build is getting the Fan of Flames cluster because that's where it gives you your Ignite Prolif. And then you use Profane Bloom on top for, you know, the double Prolif boom boom action. It looks really, really solid. I would say the only downside to this build, other than the fact that you don't have leech, so you know you just got to be a little more careful with uh, and uh, that dot damage overall. Like it does about two, two point two million dot damage, which I feel is good. It's just a little slower. There's definitely ways that you can squeeze out more damage. I'm just not, uh, I'm, I'm not there yet at that point. Um, but. There is one thing, like for the longest time, I was using a, a a searing touch. Like I was doing T14s using a searing touch. This was good. It worked out and it's really easy to get a six link searing touch. But eventually I changed to the cane of cool Mac and that that's where it's at. So you start with your searing touch. You change to the cool Mac. I mean, like you can, you, I don't know if it's possible to craft a better staff than cool Mac. Maybe it is. Maybe there's a chance to make an insanely poggies rare uh, fire staff, but the cool Mac is, is pretty good. So just know like it's, it's not overly expensive. Um, one other downside though is I, the cast one damage taken. So, Unfortunately, with the cast one mana, I was running out of mana. So I had to put on inspiration. And that feels bad, man. But it is true for, for you can manually summon your golem if you want, but I didn't. So I have a inspiration in for my stone golem, and I have an inspiration in another link for Enfeeble. And, um,. My immortal call. <laughs> That's I would say those are probably the only downsides of the build. But other than that, it's really fast to level. It's insanely fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. You guys play it. Give me your feedback. Uh, let me know what you like about it, what you don't like about it. And uh, you can always go and see when I'm live. Catch me on stream. Catch my Discord. And uh, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it.